Greetings Shelby County Schools family. Traditionally, this is our last week of school and I know our students, parents, and teachers are anxious about what next year will look like. I want to simply say thank you to our teachers, staff, students, and parents for your patience and understanding over the last 10 weeks. Never could we have imagined this kind of disruption to our way of life. You have all adapted well to this lifestyle transition of social distancing and shown remarkable resilience. Our goal is to welcome students back to school in August to an environment that is conducive to learning. The safety and health of our students, teachers, and staff is priority. However, the reality is we must have several contingencies in place to plan around the uncertainty that the pandemic has caused. This is why our press briefing on Monday announced our re-entry task force and reaffirmed our commitment to transparency as we plan and seek input from key stakeholders in education, healthcare, faith-based, and business communities. It was the first of many updates as we share next steps in the district's longer-term strategy for reopening schools. We plan to engage more teachers, parents, students during listening sessions scheduled for early June. We know it would be premature to set specific dates. We were ahead of the curve with closing schools before the state, city, and county declared safer at home orders and will continue to keep staff and families safe as we follow science and guidance of the public health experts to make the best decision for children. Now, here's Jerrica Phillips with this week's updates. Our brand new class of 2020 website is live, featuring commemorative senior programs for all high schools to download and print as keepsakes. The site also includes special messages from Superintendent Ray and our board, as well as international celebrities. The site will be updated in the coming weeks as summer graduation activities are finalized. Visit scsk12.org backslash class of 2020 to see it all and show us how you're celebrating our 2020 grads on social media using the hashtag SCSSeniorStrong. This Saturday, Shelby County Schools is holding the first ever end of the year virtual day party. The last couple of months have been trying, so we want to let loose and show our thanks for the resiliency and support of our students, families, and staff. Join us online from 1 to 3 p.m. We've got some of the 901's hottest DJs to have you dancing right into the summer. Plus, special guest appearances, SES trivia, and big time giveaways, including Grizzlies prize packs, autographs by Ja Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr., and iPad gift cards and more. More than 23,000 people tuned in live this week as Dr. Ray outlined the safe planning process to reopen schools and offices for 2020-2021. The safe plan, our strategic action for flexible education, is led by a cross-functional district team and a newly formed re-entry task force comprised of local education, business, faith-based, and community leaders. SES is committed to transparency and embracing public voice as we approach the new year with the safety of our students, families, and staff as our top priority. Listening sessions will be scheduled in June to allow the community to give input for the re-entry task force. We look forward to sharing more updates in the coming weeks. Given the likelihood of a hybrid model of online and in-person instruction in the fall, SES and districts across the U.S. are challenged to accelerate digital access plans. The SES Digital Advisory Committee is exploring options for funding, which could range from $24 million to $91 million, to equip every student and teacher with a device and internet. Superintendent Ray is recommending $27 million of the $36 million that SES expects to get from the Federal CARES Act to address digital access. This is a top priority as we plan for the new year. School counselors have been contacting families of students who are eligible for the summer online program this week. The program allows students to make up for failed courses and credits 
in order to advance to the next grade or graduate. K through eight students must be registered by May 22nd and high school students must be registered by May 27th. Get more information at scssummerschool.com. The Well Child Clinic at East High School reopened this week for student immunizations and physicals. Help make sure your child is ready for the new year by getting required shots and physicals. Remember, all pre-K, kindergarten, and seventh graders need immunizations. Appointments are available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. by calling 901-728-5858. And special precautions will be in place for social distancing. You can find additional clinic locations around the county for immunizations and more information at scsk12.org backslash immunizations. Thanks, Jerrica. We are excited to announce that we're still making investments in education and the professional development of our school leaders and teachers throughout the summer. Also, the much anticipated Summer Learning Academy will look much different this year as we prioritize our programming for early grades, scale down the number of participants, and explore virtual enrichment activities. We'll be sharing more in the coming days. Families, we also encourage you to pre-register for classes for the fall. Times may be uncertain, but here's what we know. Classes will be in session come August, whether we are in school buildings, virtual learning, or a hybrid of both scenarios. The Parent Welcome Center is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. to assist families with registration and many other processes and student services. Adults, please continue to be positive influences for our children. They are listening to our words and actions as we navigate these uncharted waters. Speak life and reimagine education with us. We need change champions for such a time as this. The students of Shelby County deserve the very best and it would take us all serving as change champions. We will get through this stronger together. Coronavirus will not defeat us. We are 901.